Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here quick and put up a little video. I had my second of three final, hopefully, um, chemotherapy yesterday. And I am, um, I slept after I got home and it was already like eight o'clock when I got up. And, um, I see that I have multiple, um, Facebook messages and I'm going to get around to them. I'm just tired and they give you, um, steroids and steroids make me so just angry that I make myself mad. I'm mad at myself. I hate it. I wish they wouldn't give them to me, but they say it helps with the symptoms and hopefully over the next day, I'll get that out of my system because that's not cool. I don't like them. Um, so I'm going to do a live. My mom says that she's coming to stay with me like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and go home Sunday afternoon before dark. Um, I don't think it'll happen, but if she does, I'll schedule a live for me and her both to be on and everything. Um, I've been trying to do just a little cleaning here and there. I was supposed to get my white appliances taken out and new black appliances put in. And they were supposed to do it yesterday because, I mean, I have to leave at like 6.30 to get to chemo on time in the morning. And I don't usually get home till 2, sometimes 3 o'clock because I have an appointment with my doctor to go over my CA125 levels, which were disappointing this time. They didn't go up, of course, but I forget the two numbers exactly, but they only went down like 60 points. And everything that I had had before had been like cutting it in half. Um, but, I have not had chemo since February. So, this right here is to kill the microscopic stuff. And then they're going to put me on a PARP inhibitor and an estrogen blocker. And I don't know whether that's going to make these hot flashes better or worse. If you've had to take a PARP inhibitor, comment and let me know. I've read the things she emailed me about it, but I was surprised to see that it's just like a really low dose of chemotherapy and that you usually stay on it for two years. Um, as long as everything's going good and it doesn't keep your hair from growing back. It doesn't keep your eyebrows from growing back. It doesn't make you physically sick, maybe in the beginning, but you get used to it. And like, I had hair and day before yesterday, Sunday, yeah, I was doing this like I always do. And all of a sudden I felt stuff on my face and I was like, and it was hair. And I was like, oh, it only took it three weeks when they say 10 days. So I got my electric razor and went to town. Just ain't nothing left. Prickles, it's really sticky right now like it's not smooth but I would have been fine 
with some of it falling out, but it had patches. And I was like, no. I go without a chemo cap, and I'm not going to have patches in my head. It looks bad. So, I just put some paper towels in the sink and bent over it and gave it what for. So, um, I still got groceries I got to put away. I have nothing on my kitchen counters where the stove is. I had to take down my spice rack. I had to take down my um, eye covers. I took down magnets of photos of me and my son and my son and just chip clips off my refrigerator and I didn't put like my big alkaline waters in there or anything because they're just gonna have to take it out and put it back so I'm not I just put them on my wire shelving that I use for my pantry because there isn't one and there is no way that I could deal with the cabinets when they're only on one side of the kitchen so they don't hold a lot a lot of it's in my closet things that I don't use a lot and um well the stuff in there I couldn't find it if I wanted it it's it's sealed for life until I leave um like instead of if I have to bake something putting it in a Pyrex I just get one of those aluminum pans it's easier to pay the couple bucks rather than kill your back because you don't have any help doing anything it's like and it's everybody. Like, after I had my debulking surgery, everybody was just like, she's fine now. We're not going to have any thing. We're not going to come to visit. We're not going to, um, you know, bring her lunch. We're not going to uh, give, you know, a donation for stuff that people don't realize that I've dropped two clothing sizes I'm having to buy clothes and I did my birthday's May the 22nd and I did um an Amazon wish list and um of course my cash app's on there but I haven't got cash app since I first um found out I had cancer um but that's cool I don't want anybody to do anything they don't want to do and or make people think I'm a beggar I'll just buy something that I can wear out I've mostly bought a lot of pajamas because that's what I live in here and if I go out on a date I'll buy a couple of date outfits. That's all I'm going to do. Because I still have some stuff that I didn't give away when I gained all the weight. But it's in totes and I'm not supposed to pick up anything that heavy. I'm going to have to get uh, a neighbor to help me pull them down out of the top of the closet. Um... But I think it's jeans, and I know those won't fit me. Um, not quite yet. But, yeah, it's, everything is just, it's, it's, I don't know. I have this fear now, and I guess I'll have it forever, that the cancer is going to come back. Because, from what I've read, it normally does. And like a five-year time span, after you are in remission, there's a large percentage of people that have already relapsed and died. So I've went through all this only to just 
get like a few years out of it and then it won't work anymore and I'll die anyway I can't talk about it I'm sorry um I'll try to do a live and everything and um I love you guys bye